back again with an awesome um, session in, in the presence of the Lord. Uh, for my people who are in Rwanda or Burundi, Karibuchani, Turabakiri, Murino, Mundo Mganya Mnizi. Today we are focusing on grace, the grace which is unplugged and everything. And um, the topic itself can tell you that it will be awesome. Uh, I urge you to open up your heart and, you know, just be expectant. Yeah, as we worship the Lord, as we give him glory and everything. Yeah, karibu sana and enjoy it. Oh, how he loves us, how 
grace, the grace of God is, is amazing. And uh, in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 35, he, it says then, Can anything ever separate us? Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or, or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scripture says, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, Overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing, nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life. Neither angels nor demons. Neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing at all. Creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let's just pray. Father Lord, we give you praise. We just want to exalt you. We just want to love you. We want to love on you. We want to see that we are grateful for your overwhelming love, for your grace upon our lives, Lord. And even as many times as we have strayed from, from your path, Lord, your arms are still wide open as a sky. Just waiting for us to come back to you. You never rejected us, Lord. Instead, you have been our father, you have been our friend, you have been the brother that people seek for God. And we just, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you, we want to glorify your name, we want to exalt you, God for the grace that is so undeserved but still you have given it to us as your children and I just want to say that if you're out there and you want to experience this grace you, you can take a, a step and just uh, give your life to Christ and uh, you can just say this prayer with me. Father, um, I thank you for your grace over my life. I thank you for coming to earth. I thank you for dying for my sins. And I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. And right now, I want to say that I accept you as Jesus into my life and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, he loves us.
we're going to close with this um, uh, this verse. You know, we all know it. John 3.16. Declaring uh, the love of God in our lives. His grace in our lives. So, in unison, see, we can, we can, we can <clears throat> recite John 3.16. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Thank you. God bless you.